Uh, also, I did part number one. <clears throat> I'm going to use this as a part number two. Because, let me demonstrate to you. And first say that there is a lot of stuff I was reminded from watching the videos concerning Dr. Ken Berry alone. Uh, there is a lot of stuff I have learned from watching, well, actually a few things I really did. Uh, from him, for instance, I can tell you exactly what I did a lot of stuff. I didn't even watch a lot of stuff of this. What I learned from him is that, basically, for instance, a salad she like this... She just asked me what kind of poison. Uh, you know what this is, uh, right? This I already have washed. This is green beans. One time. I left inside, I went like salad. this. This is a salad. And uh, it, 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 it was not like this. It was just a salad, like no liquid inside whatsoever. Just a salad with a slight taste of uh, vinegar and so smooth so smooth this stuff here so smooth my mother did exactly the same thing with cockenburs i think it is cockenburs in english these are both green beans and cockenburs this should be like really good if you have a cancer that should actually really really help you out yeah so the way my mother would do this stuff is she would observe me eating developing like a bad uh diet which i took i was eating properly 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 and then i did whatever i did because i was doing the project or whatever one day like this and then i would return back to a good diet and stuff like this um it was exactly then that she filled in between the gap with preparing like roasted chicken at home which is actually for my type of cancer a good thing it made me feel better always whenever i had that chicken then the next day what she would do is she would again prepare something like cockenburs or green beans something like this let's say and like i said no liquid no liquid what you see here is just the water i poured inside after watching Ken Berry's video, no, whatever I did with with Dr. Ken Berry, uh, if it's one thing I learned from him, and I think it's a tremendously big thing, is to avoid at all costs um, certain oils. Let's talk. That's what they insist on about the insulin that this is a killer. There you go. So we're gonna take this one here. So if it, there's something I learned from him is to fatty liver disease. Not if you consume you've been diagnosed not diagnosed with this, you're probably scared to death. And rightfully so. Fatty liver disease can it eventually lead to liver inflammation and ultimately cirrhosis and liver failure leaving you what i did was i learned from him when it comes to oil products that the only oil you should actually consume is olive oil and i'm actually avoiding even that one and so since i was really really careful about i completely stopped using oil so to me Upon return from Poland, reserve under under return from Poland portion of the MK Ultra by American Daniel Rex Smith even was that it's something wrong with you if you use more than psychologically wrong with you if you use more than maybe a liter and a half a month of sunflower oil or vegetable oil. Because I was doing, I cooked the soup. They teach under MK Ultra what to cook, how to cook, to cook chicken. Then once the chicken is cooked, you eat. Then the next day what you do is you eat, you deep fry one and you eat one like this. How you take all the fat out 
they teach you all that stuff on that MK Ultra. What's healthy? What's healthy for you? So what I do is, if I learn something from this guy, <laughs> uh, I don't think it'll help much because it's other people that listed that as well. But if there is something I learned from him, thanks to the Google owners, is to not consume oil. And what's really, really interesting is, and I would blame my mother for this stuff. What you see here is a water I loaded into a beans. So I came with my own recipe that what mother prepares is nothing other than oil. And to remove that, the best eventually would be to just uh, fill the dish with the water and rinse the oil simply away with the water several times and then it should be okay. You're going to see in this opportunity, after I already rinsed one several times, that this is actually impossible even to do, even to rinse. That's how much oil was soaked inside of this beans uh, or cucumbers and so on. What Igor Kota referred to under MK Ultra, like in a most evil way, he was laughing. They presented to me, it was sold to me by Americans. Americans sold to me this as you constantly you would, you would return back and it would be complained that it didn't feel good and it would they would interact indirectly in front of you asking one another and how did you feel about this actually no and no and no and no nobody knew nobody knew anything nobody knew anything about two weeks three weeks maybe nobody knew anything about why 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 make them sick and then all of a sudden they claimed ah, with a hysteric way a, it was an oil. It was a. It was this kind of oil inside vegetable oil or whatever, uh, inside of the cucumbers, inside of the uh, inside of the beans, inside of the uh, tomato salad. Too much oil. It was nothing but oil. Then I realized it was nothing but oil. Talking about American psychologist Daniel Rex Smith. It was oil. It was oil. This is the way they did under MK Ultra. This is the way this shit was done. Yeah, I would blame my mother for murder attempt, literally, when I consider this shit here, this stuff here. This is bullshit. Rinse it out. And it was not rinse it out. This is nothing other than oil, completely packed with the oil it was. And you can see the day, this was July 19th, since not once she prepared again for me anything like this. Because twice she prepared, twice I got her and told her. No more. I would be pissed off with my mother just as I was but it would be unjust it would be completely unjust because it was then that these people appeared also it was all coordinated at the same time it was done in a, such a way that it would make you see the American way it would make you see yeah you see it's a mama that is trying to poison me and Americans are good Americans are good Americans are the ones they're giving me advice they're telling me they're telling me what is good for me they're telling me what is good for me. Americans are good. They tell you what's good for you. It was so time coordinated that I could miss the connection between this shit here and between the YouTube. So coordinated this stuff was. So coordinated. So coordinated it was. You could miss. You could miss if you wanted to. This physician too, uh, Dr. Predip, was involved in this stuff. But he didn't have any kind of exciting theories. The sugar consumption has... He didn't have, he didn't have any, anything like this. And, and it was just a little bit too drastic for me. It sounds like, oh, the sugar consumption. I ignored him. Simple as this. And it was Dr. Mendel. That did not have absolutely anything to do with a bullshit. This is one doctor that the way they wanted him, doctor. They, wanted, they wanted to involve him into this crap, into this scam. He simply turned away and didn't want to play in it absolutely any part. This is also to be used as a proof that the two other physicians, in fact, were scam. They were scammers. Dr. Eric Berg wanted to prove himself. He wanted to demonstrate his knowledge and he wanted to prove himself on me. He wanted me to follow his parents uh, like religiously. At one point, got violent, violent with me because I refused. 
at Tershka Gora. There were people involved in beatings just day, two days earlier. And it was the people they set him up with that to bring me there. And it's going to be uh, a wine leaves from red wine that they're going to help me out. And I refused and there was all kinds of stuff that went on. So Dr. Mandel is a proof that you didn't have to claim issues in respect to, you know, basically push a paranoia forward, knowing that it's going to be God knows how many issues they involve in it to mislead, to make me, to discredit me in front of the world as much as possible. That means to discredit the person, so the person, to compel person to discredit himself. So the person tells something that evidently is not true. You kill the guy like this, labeled as a paranoid schizophrenic, talking about the stuff like this. You kill the guy like this when you spread conspiracy shit like this to the guy under MK Ultra. What do you think you do? So Dr. Mandel is a proof that no, it didn't have to be. <laughs> Some jokers out there with the sirens. Dr. Mandel is a proof that it didn't have to be that way. It was just enough to separate the two issues. One is a fatty liver, another one is a cancer. However, cancer most controllable is if you consider fatty liver as the number one thing if you take care if you look at the issue like from the fatty liver perspective on your health concern cancer concern you're going to somehow survive optimal in in the most optimal way but those are two different things you can't tell person that he's got something that he suffers in something like this when actually he's got a blood clots going on when he's got totally other stuff you prepare vegetable oil crap like this soaked what do you do with a guy like this <laughs> sure it's healthy vegetable uh green beans cucumbers is good supposedly is good and what do you do you prove one wrong and what do you do what do you do you make sure you demonstrate on through the laptop basically in front of him you remind him of bullshit that you did experience supposedly only during MK Ultra that you were subjected to a sadistic laughter from the doctor Igor Kota here from the neighbor basically acknowledging recognizing some some crap like this to somebody else indirectly like oh yeah you oh you learn you, you that, that was my idea and this and that now that um, that I'm afraid that didn't help that kind of stuff didn't help and more than anything it totally points out that the whole thing was coordinated with one another and for that matter dr mandel is a proof that it didn't have to be that way because he declined he distanced himself they were pushing him down and throat like this stuff that he would also become part of it he refused now that's a difference the only thing he told me you're strong you're gonna make it you got a willpower like nobody else you have to exercise you have to do you know things but that he would go and cover up cancer with a fatty liver issues he never did he never did any of it i have to say i learned everything little from everyone from this guy i learned to freeze bananas so i get them at a discounted cost i freeze them and then i eat them eventually they're good because they have certain elements potassium and so on that other fruits don't have you can't get them otherwise his recipe with a cinnamon on how to go sleep although i would say dr mandel the best when it comes to cinnamon is to actually even better than biological is to actually cook one and then consume one like this i would say i no longer do that stuff i must say um i would also say because bananas are full of sugar would suggest people that have any kind of sugary issues anything like this uh including cancer patients to as soon as you're done eating bananas you would want to drink 
uh, two glasses of C vitamin so that you neutralize that sugar as fast as possible and what you do is you do a lot of movement if you have a stairways you would go up and down up and down like they were doing also in our house let's say that's the kind of stuff I would recommend and it's also the kind of stuff that everybody commended me on that's basically as far as insulin issues it's how it's done and to take the to beat the sugar down and insulin issues to uh, to synchronize everything as fast as possible that's exactly what you would go and do C vitamin and you would increase movement basically whatever you got to do something really dynamic let's say for I don't know 10 15 minutes something like this uh, eventually I was the one who insisted that you shouldn't change absolutely any diet anything at all and that you should just eat your food whatever it is that you eat and substitute salt with a C vitamin this is what the Joe Biden have stolen them from me and started to sell back to me uh, those were my authentic recipes I invented during MK Ultra I suggested and they were by far the worst actually the best recipes to the people who experienced cancer there were unfortunately people who volunteered to experience cancer of which there is a possibility two of my neighbors did jobs real estate that kind of stuff deals I have no idea what happened uh, they no longer are around other people did too they made offers for people to try the type of problem I have deal with it and they were gone they didn't make it through if this is true however I do not know however they insisted me on that MK Ultra that to save me with idea to save me it's very very fishy they would give people my kind of cancer and then basically see them fight with this cancer what eventually ended up taking them away for what these people then their relatives and so on blamed me for it that I was the one who scammed them into it then I was guilty to the people that I was the one subject to MK Ultra drugged up uh, who talked them into submitting themselves into a cancer issue and shit like this it was all kinds of crap all kinds of crime involved in it and even resentment that I was alive and I was alive according to all these people because they saved me and they didn't save those other people and those other people had to die and I survived and stuff like this it was yes indeed I literally was guilty uh, the neighbor here her name is Maida Moher I literally was guilty in her eyes for the loss of her husband I wouldn't go into the stories who were behind uh, that story uh, for whatever happened but yeah uh, she did guaranteed me cancer in the future uh, in fact example me one with her cat that how it's gonna be uh, what exactly happened to her husband I do not know however in her eyes I was the one guilty for the death of her husband mm. there is another guy here Franci Frank Udoj uh, the only thing I remember is he has some unbearable pain uh, as far as Maida Mohar is husband Frank appeared was interested in some kind of opportunity people were powered by I don't know I don't even know by whatever by what whatever they have seen in other people they accomplished uh, through doing whatever however in his case there is a completely another scenario in the picture too it appeared to me he had another lady it appeared to me they talked about afterlife post life it could have been malicious lie it could have been also the true I do not know little you can learn from people people talked during MK Ultra tremendously a lot and when you see them on the street, when you meet them on the street, it's only hello, hello. And that's all there is to it.
to tell you the truth, frankly, I don't actually even know what happened exactly to that neighbor. Not as far as whether he is alive or dead. They were coming from Hollywood all the time with idea uh, on first how they're going to help me get through, how they actually volunteered for my sake so the medication could be found for me and how now I owe them, how these are now my best friends. And they would torture. The, tor the torture would take off. Then you turn against people who volunteered for the cancer to save your life. Then you owe them a medication which is going to be obtained through to you. That's why it's important this to be done. Because the big corporations have it. And the world just doesn't. But just as I have mentioned you earlier, how they posted, they completely coordinated under my YouTube accounts. In this case, this kind of issue here, there's a green bean. Inside so whatsoever. See how time wise this, this stuff was coordinated, right? I can absolutely confirm you that this was not only a physical harm that's being done here in this case. This was actually psychological harm foremost that was done through the physical harm. This shit here, when you have a cancer, your liver has a problem, will affect you tremendously. When you do the stuff like this, regardless of how much the person is trying to cure himself, it's this kind of stuff that's going to send him light years back if nothing else than morally because you're doing absolutely everything possible to eat healthy okay good and you're exercising you're doing all kinds of crazy insane stuff then you come home and you eat something you think was healthy and it destroys you it fucks you up so this was killing of the human will so that one would not pursue the prosperity eventually kill you Kill your will for life, basically, drowning one in agony. There is a reason why my father is in hospital. There is a reason for everything right now, why this should be a last Father's Day, and so on and so forth. There is a big, huge, huge psychological harm that you do to a person like this. It's this kind of stuff, if you're not going to release one, and I should be exercising. I should be looking for a job today and everything. I figure out if I don't put this, this is a part two of psychological burden. The shit like this do. The way they design, the way they buy time, the way they buy cancer, the way they keep you inside. Just the degree of torture, abuse that took place. The best demonstrated, the best explained is that you cannot go about the fucking job search, about absolutely anything in life without letting from your soul exactly what you see here I have explained. You're not going to be 100% whatever the fuck you go keeping this kind of secret inside of you. Yes? Am I right or not? I am absolutely right. It doesn't matter who you are, where you are, what you are. If you would just go through the fraction of this, they could deprive you of the sanity. One issue that stuff like this and this kind of stuff supported with extreme physical abuse. And keep in mind the physical, Kate, the athlete, actually kills you in this case. You are working against yourself. I just want to be very, very specific on this issue, how murderous this procedure was. They could have let this stuff out already before, but if Americans did this, right, it wouldn't have the weight, it wouldn't carry the burden as otherwise did. The point about MK Ultra is to create as many as possible issues and then trigger them one by one in the most toxic, not poisonous, but the most toxic, murderous way possible. London knows all about it. There are all kinds of stuff like this involved with it. This doctor, this physician, I really like because he just kept separated these issues, did not want me to believe that I have a fatty liver or something like this. He just wanted me to concentrate basically on a on issues that would not worsen uh, my 
health condition, but he never stated that I'm going to be having a, a fatty liver issue only. There'll be no cancer and stuff like this opposed to, uh, let's say, <clears throat> let's say this guy mentioned also once he find out. Both of them mentioned. Okay, I'm going to put this guy, Dr. Mandela, away because I think that he is a separate uh, separate issue from 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 this position let's say definitely <clears throat> he caused a fair share of problem fair share of confusion through his crazy insane lies and it was not only this confusion he created the world where he presented me in oh this is going to be a woman who's going to date you and it's you being racist not wanting to date women man uh, the women that i wanted to date he came up with all kinds of stuff that i wouldn't want to date no more under mk ultra um I've not seen simply more mischievous person than this guy here. This guy, killer for hire, basically, with doctoral degree. I don't know what to say. Surprisingly shitty doctor, this one. This one here, he wanted me to incorporate the knowledge to fight cancer concerning the fatty liver. This guy here did too, but not, this guy did not go anywhere in area as this guy here. This guy was actually committed that he's gonna help me out that he's gonna that he's gonna find a way that I can survive this for as long as possible however both of these positions you see it's not good this is my mother but several times I did. who made my mother do this kind of stuff so I would see myself in Americans rather in myself rather in a core problem of the problem which is basically a cancer my mother did stuff that was beyond insane her subliminary signs that pertain to mk ultra lies they were just impossible to ignore because there were so many due to a number of these lies involved in mk ultra it was it would have been completely impossible for me to to ignore to ignore when somebody when somebody does to you something like this and she was the one with the dr Iger quarter let's say i slept right there in the room and sure enough she pulls this card put one over there it's gonna be hard remember it's a heart it's a heart so she insisted she poisoned along this and she created toxic atmosphere what how much i can go and blame my mother for it I already told you it was from United States of America literally that have committed themselves next to my Google accounts whichever Google account I would use they would post me related timing wise related issues that they would interconnect with one another why didn't you bring these people already at earlier stage at earlier phase why didn't you bring these people already if you wanted to help why didn't you bring them already uh, at earlier stage why didn't you tell this about at earlier stage already why did you bring this stuff when just as you stated you're going to bring one up when it's going to be completely critical already because this is where the problem is this is a problem about the cake you see about the Buckingham Palace they prorated this whole operation deterioration of health death basically exactly according to the timing tick 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 because they know that everything every cure they gave every card they threw on a table they know exactly how you're going to recall certain portion of mk ultra and it's only that much and that much you're going to be able much longer you're going to be able to maintain yourself but eventually you're going to be fading 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 away and it comes to me when simon my best friend police officer here from elmesta he told me eventually you're gonna you're gonna reduce salt you're gonna reduce sugar uh and in the end you're not gonna eat any sugar any salt and you're gonna fail eventually i don't know what else to say to you uh this sleep deprivation method this is not paranoid schizophrenia this is based on a cancer the psychiatrist from ljubljana polia a physician who did this stuff who stated me here in novo mesto that this is going to be related to a lack of psychiatric medications knew all about the cancer issues.
he knew all about the heart issues related to the cancer, to the blood clots, and was extremely sadistic, pessimistic, I can understand, I was gonna say, lazy, fucking, fat, bastard, good-for-nothing pile of fucking piece of shit, worthless piece of human shit as you are. It's a shame that you exist, and I'm gonna say. But I, now, when I said, I'm gonna say what this part, I wasn't gonna say, but I'm gonna say now. What you did under MKUltra is one thing, but having the full knowledge of this, and going according to NK Ultra scenario in real life now that does make you a fucking shit good for nothing worth no more than a regular criminal that is being charged for the worst criminal offenses in this world just as any serial killer molester or whatever or whatever is a serial killer whatever is that you are you despite your doctoral degree you fit exactly into that category what you did under NK Ultra and it pertains to my mother too. That's one thing. But your actions that you're doing in real time confirm everything, all your obligations, all your oaths you have given. Because this kind of crime was not specified yet. This kind of crime was not classified yet. I'm classifying one right now. I could understand the personality of my mother under MK Ultra, although I never ever should have understood cruelty from my mother, from my own mother, from my own parents. But okay, she was under political pressure, she was under all kinds of issues and so on. I can understand that, that she had to act that way. But you don't want to confess yourself. You don't want to admit yourself. Okay, and now, however, why do you have to trigger that kind of attitude and walk in those in that same personality? You have displayed me under MK Ultra. Now that classifies you into a special kind of category, in a category of a serial killers. The sirens. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for me to say thank you for watching this video. Think about the day when I'll go to the police station and pull that director of police, hopefully with a police SWAT team. Claim me that that's what's gonna kill me, actually. It was a lot of stuff like this and I couldn't get under MK Ultra. How the hell? I didn't get when I ask what's inside in there just air so I said mom how air how that's going to do anything to me in my case the exercise itself is that triggers cancer and the more exercise you do you come home and you try to get the sleep the less sleep you're going to get because it's all interconnected with consumption of the energy uh, with issues most likely that were sold to me, such as issues such as gas poisoning, you could hear, you could hear uh, the radiators, you could hear at night, you could hear whatever it was coming, something that would be like, that you could hear. Uh, what, and it's now I understand, I took a photo also, my mother placed under my room uh, something that you push the air. Uh, Cherpalka, I don't know how, yeah, like a little pump, like a little pump that she claimed that that attaches to, uh, to a tube and it's gonna be pumped inside of your room where you sleep. Uh, they put, they placed a gas bomb and claimed me it's a gas that will lift you up in the middle of the night that's going to interrupt your sleep uh, I cite what it appeared to be Alexander Vujic on his visit we yet just have to find what will be used what kind of gas will be used uh, to interrupt your sleep to cause damage to your heart that's all downstairs under my room he demonstrated to me a gas bomb is it 
that this kind of metan basically is what we use here in Slovenia for the heating stoves is it this kind of uh, gas that it does this kind of stuff Borut Pahor insisted me that there is a special kind of gas that he's gonna have neighbors use it will be let inside of my room at night that will affect my heart that injures that damage my heart it's a special kind of gas it's gonna be no actually the air was pushed inside the room i recorded one audio recorded one too at night the shit they were doing uh but with this kind of cancer with this kind of injury with this kind of cancer that you have here and that i even delivered here on blood clots cramps wise below my knees about the oculus area which is typical now that kind of stuff that's just uh, a plain cancer in the type of cancer i was told is not gonna allow you more sleep than four hours if you get four hours of sleep per day that's already plenty good enough the crime so well evaluated under mk ultra the crime so well evaluated under mk ultra they're talking about this stuff here this is a salad the crime so well evaluated under K Ultra in respect to the very specific health conditions they develop over the course of no less than 25 years they work on it, that it would have been impossible for anyone to see things any different from as those were depicted to me brain through the brainwash under MK Ultra and presented to me afterwards in real time basically inserted violently in real time trust me i would have gone and buy myself socks you can trust me the proper size and everything but through the financial struggle through the issues like this you don't actually have any other way other to see other than what they present you with their ultimatums because everything you see here was through the ultimatum whether you like it or not these are going to be your shoes you're going to walk that's all there is and it's something i was told they already des designated for every individual out there we have another phone call yeah what i especially like about the slovenian uh, sirens uh which they got from canada uh british again assisted them this was in Canada they had this kind of stuff uh, they had this this kind of sirens in uh, in Britain not in the US I can't recall that I'm not sure about that somebody is calling like insane that's a telephone from mother um, in 2001 it was Borut Pahor who claimed it's going to be a big, 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 huge surplus. It's going to be a tremendous, tremendous what I did for Slovenia. It's never going to be forgotten. Ever. A big favor, personal favor to Slovenia I did. That was a Borut Pahor who thanked me for it. Because this was the guy who was so enthusiastic about destroying me through the mental health system. Milan Kuch and Borut Pahor, they were like totally enthusiastic about it. And the favor I did to Slovenia, they got a new sirens in Slovenia. And these sirens are like this. They demonstrated to me, they told me about. Prince Andrew told me about. They all British, they explained to me, they go like, you don't even actually hear, you didn't even hear that on the, laptop but they're such a subtle but powerful that go straight through you they use them on ambulance vehicles i think and whatever they presented me with issues that they're gonna get them now they're gonna get them plus the germans gave them some mercedes's uh ambulance vehicles and stuff like this that this this is the kind of technology that stuff that never was yeah, and when you think about the future prospect of your being hospitalized, stalked, 
with a sirens and the stuff like this you can imagine about the kate the athlete actually where this is coming from kate the athlete that i have to thank for taking american citizenship away from me i'm sure many of you would be very happy and destroying the slovenia a native one how you go about the job how you go about the stuff like this how you go into an environment like this when you should be identifying a fucking car sellers people inside of the companies where it supposedly never was and where you should apply for the job and that kind of stuff but abused you tortured you inside I don't know I don't know cancer actually stresses about second issue and in my case as Dr. Eric Berg stated it's gonna play a worse bigger factor than uh, a sugar itself try it try it like this if you like try then 28 years of lies 28 years of lies Kate the athlete from the Buckingham Palace I know it's a fucking stupid video I know it's a fucking it's a poor it's a stupid fucking video I know it I know with a lot of great language involving it but what the fuck are you when you step in front of the mirror what the fuck are you guys every one of you what are you when you step in front of the mirrors what are you I can tell you Antonio Guterres from United Nations could work as an SS officer he could work as an officer in Stalinist Gulag he could work in any extermination camp any one of these people could I know it's a poor video I know there is rules to follow they're known as a mainstream media news and you should be professional and you should be the most um, you should express yourself most properly you should under no circumstances talk like this right you should under no circumstances should you express yourself in a, in a way like this right oh I'm gonna wait for the summer vacations as I was told by the police alone and the state prosecutor from Ljubljana to go to pass by that's what a French couple told me they parked their car here the other day and what I'll do is I'll wait for the summer to end and then it's gonna happen in the fall like the state prosecutor told me from Ljubljana it's gonna happen in the fall because the big dogs you know the dogs they have to have a vacation they vacation now Mrs. Fayon is driving in Croatia is having a fucking fun see video here and there how things are coming along Antonio Guterres where are you now in Portugal in Italy Greece maybe how about Greece They're, everybody's busy right now in the summertime so I'm gonna have to wait I did 28 years and we're gonna have to wait a little bit more for this tempered justice a fucking lie to resolve itself by pointing you know, fingers at one another uh, which one is guilty more yeah yeah Mrs. Merkel stated to me she stated to me she said this one will come out then she changed the story and she stated to me she said it will come out if you're gonna point finger at everybody if you're not gonna point finger at everybody it's never gonna come out yeah <laughs> so it's difficult for me to know whether to point finger at everybody or just in some rather than the other and at whom i should and at whom i should not point finger at but then again when the justice is going for 28 years like the way it's going and what i anticipate it's going to be like the police told me they're going to be pointing finger uh at one another they're going to be pointing a finger at one another not as long as the war in ukraine is going to go on definitely they're going to be pointing finger at one another for as long as i'm going to be alive mr joe biden and his team dared to even present me the future war in ukraine and the mk ultra is issue 
that would be used to save my life literally uh, that's why I touched Ukraine to save me saving me basically this is what Joe Biden is on a task Joe Biden is on a task of saving me saving the world I should see one uh, not even there to touch one because it was everything all for me um, in respect to London but the only thing I can do is I can start to whistle that the siren that I hear every day on several occasions that they play me under the window the one that that was donated to Slovenia by Canada by British you know that that's basically what I'm talking about very low tone very high tone Slovenia I remember this because they they made me hear them 2001 2002 is when they got those and boy how Milan Kuchan Borat Pahor how they were excited about the future prospect when all this could well everything all this was done for me you know from day one 1995 they involved psychiatrists uh, they <laughs> really the people that you see right there they build a very very promising future for me back home rather than the US you know so you, you can point the finger at one another for sure enough sure you can point finger at one another but what do you think I'm gonna tell you about this what do you think I see this as this finger pointing this right here that is in front of me what do you think I see this as huh is this like a for me because of me for my sake is this because I need it in my life or is it what is this well, I actually think that these are the greatest people in the world I'm gonna say goodbye so that you folks can go back to your stall daily dose you get delivered to your doorsteps and your desktops something I know damn and well I cannot stop but also for something I am well aware that when you ruined me 28 years of life that the money issues um, whatever the whatever the case might be with this stuff whatever the case might be with this stuff it, it might be deleted from the internet wherever whatever they're gonna do with this once I'm gone this is just my take on basically whom I dealt with what exactly I dealt with the type of people I dealt with I know I know it's not worth anything because it's like William stated to me the one who is right that's always the one who lives longer the one that lives longer in this case however is obvious but still I'm gonna give you my take on this whole thing so that you get an idea about who did this shit who did all this stuff why this stuff happened who brought me from United States of America through Canada and what happened since 1995 next to all financial resources even the video view cars were blocked even the video you can see here video view cars to discredit one to destroy one even the video view counters were blocked everything everything was blocked absolutely everything was blocked whatever possibly could be blocked PayPal 
my banking accounts patron crypto values options within the last since 2010 when I started this I received exactly zero cents of financial support and that includes online ads revenue zero cents for the ads zero cents exactly for everything for absolutely everything they murder they are cancer I was gonna say worse than cancer they are cancer they are brain and lymph node cancer and all the cancer all the cancers that the world have known about together they kill these are same videos you see here and I deem for this here to be censored for this stuff I also deem to be censored but it's not censored anywhere even as near as on the YouTube or daily motions and so on and so forth nowhere even near nowhere anywhere even as near as that and this stuff here is censored severely censored severely censored now you're gonna say this is this is then worse than than a cancer huh it's one exhausting murderers as possibly could be procedure that best I'm going to demonstrate to you it looks exactly like this now I could have done that right there but why not to do it here You know what I told you about the little gods, about the Zuckerbergs, about the Google owners, how it's been done, this kind of stuff? Go ahead, do your own test, take a link from my blog and go ahead and put one on a Facebook if you can. They are a mother of cancers.